Nogontni Club Maribor, commonly referred to as NK Maribor or simply Maribor, is a professional football club based in Maribor, Slovenia. Founded on December 12, 1960, Maribor is one of only three football clubs in the country who have never been relegated from Slovenian top flight one. SNL since its establishment in 1991. They are regarded as a symbol of Slovenian football, particularly in their home region of Styria in the northeastern Slovenia. Maribor is the most successful club in the country, having won 12 Slovenian Dvalika titles, 8 Slovenian Cups and 4 Slovenian Super Cups. The club's most successful period was in the late 1990s and early 2000s, when they overwhelmingly dominated domestic football, winning seven successive league titles and three national cups. Following the 2008-09 season, Maribor became the dominant force in Slovenian football for the second time, having won four out of five championships since then. Since 2011 the club also enjoys a fair amount of success in European football, reaching the UEFA Europa League or the UEFA Champions League annually. Between 2008 and 2013 Darko Milenia has led the club to four league, three cup and two super cup titles, becoming the first coach who has won all three domestic trophies. Prior to Slovenia's independence in 1991 Maribor played in the Yugoslav football system. They are one of only three Slovenian teams who participated in the country's highest division, Yugoslav First League, between the end of World War II in 1945 and the breakup of Yugoslavia in 1991. Apart from winning the Yugoslav Second Division once and the Third Division five times, the club had no major success during its Yugoslav period. The closest they came to winning a major trophy was in the 1967 Euro 68 season, when they reached the semi-finals of the Yugoslav Cup. In addition, they are the only Slovenian club and one of only four clubs from the former Yugoslavia who participated in group stage of the UEFA Champions League. They have maintained a fierce rivalry with Olimpija from the capital Ljubljana, with whom they contested the eternal derby. Their other major rivalry was against Mura from Mirska Sabota and matches between the two were dubbed as the Northeastern Derby. However, both Olimpija and Mura folded and were dissolved following the 2004 Euro 05 season. In 2005 successor clubs, B3 quarters Igrad and Mura 05 were established, who regarded themselves as the continuation of the former clubs. Legally the new Olimpija Ljubljana and Mura 05 are distinct and separate clubs, and were not entitled to claim the history and honours won by their predecessors. Although Maribor and the new Olympija Ljubljana contest in what is regarded as the eternal derby the rivalry is not as fierce as it was between Maribor and the dissolved club. Mura 05 folded and were dissolved following the 2012 Euro 13 season, after they have spent two successive seasons in the top division, which led to the creation of Mura. Maribor also have a loyal and passionate fan base and the club has the highest average all-time attendance in Slovenia. The club's home ground is the Judsky VRT Stadium, which is a capacity of 12,994. It was originally built in 1952 and later underwent a series of major reconstructions in the 1990s and 2000s. The club's academy, which is hailed as the best in the country, is responsible for youth development at the club and has enjoyed a fair amount of success in producing promising young players. Maribor's nicknames are the Purples and the Violets both referring to their primary color purple. The club's motto is One Club, One Honor. History Founding Maribor Football Club was founded on December 12, 1960. The board of the newly established club then organized the presidential elections and Dr. Sriya Kokiran was appointed as the first club president, while Andrija Flander was appointed as the first head coach and Otto Blatzik as the first team captain. The club played their first match on February 5, 1961, when they defeated city rivals Corvina 2 a Euro 1, with Stefan Tolia scoring both goals. Although the team colors, purple and white, were chosen from the beginning, the team played its first match in a green and blue combination, as their violet jerseys were not available in time for the first match. The team won the Slovenian Republic League in their first season and therefore won the right to contest the qualifications for the Yugoslav Second League. Andrija Flander was the head coach of the team that won the Republic League. 
However, he had to step down from the position right before the start of the promotion playoff due to illness. His successor was Vladimir Angstrom I. Munia, the man who eventually guided the team to their promotion to the Yugoslav First League six years later. Maribor won the first two rounds of the qualifying playoff and eventually defeated Croatian side Uljanic from Pula in the final qualifying phase with a score to a Euro 1 on aggregate, therefore securing the right to play in the second Yugoslav division. In 1961 the club received a new stadium named Judsky VRT. On September 2 of that year football fans across Slovenia witnessed the birth of a new rivalry between Maribor and Olimpija Ljubljana. The first match between the two clubs was played in Ljubljana and ended in a 1-1 one one draw. Matches between these two clubs later became known in Slovenia as the Eternal Derby. After five seasons, the average attendance of home matches was around 8,000 spectators, and under the guidance of coach Simunia, the club won the second division title and managed to reach the Yugoslav First League. Between the end of World War II in 1945 and the breakup of Yugoslavia in 1991. Yugoslav Top Division The club's first match in the Yugoslav Top Division was played in 1967 against Macedonian side Varda in Scorpia. Maras scored the only goal for Maraba. The first top level home match was played on August 27, 1967, against Prulita's Renjanin in front of 8,000 spectators, and Maribor won with a score 3 0. The goals were scored by Kranjc, Arnjaya, and Binkovsky. During the same season, football fans across Slovenia witnessed the first ever match in the Yugoslav top flight involving two clubs from Slovenia. When Maribor hosted a match against their rivals Olimpija Ljubljana in front of 13,000 spectators. Every match between the two clubs during this period would be sold out, with crowd attendance sometimes as high as 20,000. The team finished their first season in Yugoslav top flight in 12th place. During their five years in the top division, Maribor played a total of 166 matches and achieved 40 wins. 57 a draws and 69 a defeats, with a goal difference of 166 a Euro 270. Maribor's highest league position was in the 1969 a Euro 70 season when the club finished in 10th place in an 18-club league. The average league placement of the club in Yugoslav top flight was 13.8. The 1971 a Euro 72 season was their last season in top division as the team finished last with 20 a points. Mladen Kranjc, one of the best players in history of the club, was the best goal scorer for the team in each of its five seasons spent in the Yugoslav top division, having scored a total of 54 league goals, which eventually led to his transfer to one of the top Yugoslav clubs, Dinamo Zagreb. In the next season, Maribor played in the second Yugoslav division and finished as the runners up, which meant that they qualified for the Yugoslav first division promotion playoff. In the first qualifying round against Montenegro inside Bijua Nost, Maribor won on penalties and qualified for the decisive round against Prulita. The first leg was played in Maribor on July 8, 1973, and is acknowledged as one of the most historic matches in history of the club as it still holds the club's attendance record. There were 20,000 spectators, 15,000 of whom were already present in the stands almost three hours before kickoff eventually helping Maribor win the game 3 a Euro 1. However, the two-goal advantage proved to be insufficient as Prulita won the second leg in Zrenjan in 3 a Euro 0 and earned promotion with a score 4 a Euro 3 on aggregate. In the second leg match when the score was 1 a Euro 0 for the home team, Maribor had scored an equaliser in the 23rd minute, but the goal was disallowed. The later TV replay showed that the ball had actually crossed the goal line and that the goal should have stood. After the dramatic playoff against Prulita, the club entered a period of stagnation. During this period Maribor were again close to promotion to top division in the 1978 Euro 79 season when they finished in second place, six points behind Bosnian side Aik. Bribery scandal and aftermath at the end of 1980 a Euro 1981 season Maribor was celebrating as the club managed to avoid relegation, when the ball bribery scandal emerged, and caused the club to be relegated from second tier to third by the decision of the Football Association of Yugoslavia Disciplinary Committee. 
the club had a secret fund that was used for bribing officials and opponents. Some club officials were keeping track of the bribery expenses in their black book, which was later confiscated by the authorities. From the book it is clear that Maribor had bribed a total of 31 people. After the scandal and the subsequent relegation to third division, Maribor spent the following years bouncing between the second and third Yugoslav leagues until the independence of Slovenia in 1991. In 1988 Maribor joined Mardi Branik organization, to form Maribor Branik. Although the club uses only the name Maribor in domestic and international competitions it is still officially registered as NK Maribor Branik to this day. The club always had close ties to Mardi Branik as NK Branik Maribor, an association football club which was part of Mardi Branik, had been dissolved only a couple of months before Maribor was established and, Many fans who had supported Branik simply switched to supporting Mariba as they viewed the club as the successor of Branik. In October that year Mladen Kranjc was involved in a tragic motorcycle accident in DOL and J.A. Powihova. Considered to be one of the best goal scorers in the history of the club, he died at the age of 43. After independence, following the independence of Slovenia, Slovenia's best clubs joined the newly formed Slovenian League. Maribor were one of the league's founding members, and are one of only three clubs, along with Gorica and Selje, who have never been relegated from the Slovenian top division. In the first couple of seasons, Maribor's rivals Olimpija from Ljubljana, who have had a long tradition of playing in the Yugoslav First League and at the time still had their squad composed of players from that era, dominated the league. Although Olimpija dominated the league, Maribor still managed to win the first edition of the Slovenian Cup in 1992. The final match was played in Ljubljana at B3 quarters at Grad Stadium vs Olimpija. It ended in a goalless draw after regular time and was won by Maribor after a penalty shootout. This was the first major success for Maribor. During the next season the team had their European DA copyright but, appearing in the UEFA Cup Winners' Cup. They played their first European match on August 19, 1992, when they hosted a among Spartans of Malta and won with a score for a Euro Zero. Anti Angstrom I'm under three quarters has scored the first historic goal of the match. Olympija went on to win the first four domestic championships, until their streak was interrupted by Gorica, who won it in the 1995 Euro 96 season. Maribor were runners up in the 1991 Euro 92. 1992 Euro 93 and 1994 Euro 95 seasons, before finishing third in 1993 Euro 94 and then fourth in the 1995 Euro 96 season. During this period, the club managed to win another Slovenian Cup in 1993 Euro 94, defeating Mura from Mirska Sabota in the final with three Euro 2 on aggregate. The 1996 Euro 97 season proved to be the turning point in the history of Maribor. The club stormed the Slovenian league and became national champions for the first time in their history. During the season average home attendance was 5,289 spectators, which is still a record in the Slovenian league. The final match of the season was played on June 1, 1997, against Belton C and attracted a crowd of 14,000 which is also a record of the Slovenian top league. In that season Maribor also won the 1996 Euro 97 Slovenian Cup, thus winning the domestic double, a feat also repeated in the 1998 Euro 99 season. After their first title in 1996 Euro 97 Maribor went on to win six more titles, bringing their total number to seven consecutive titles by 2003. During this period the team also won three Slovenian Cups and in the 1999 Euro 2000 season, the club, led by head coach Bojan Pranijka, managed to defeat at Genk of Belgium and French powerhouse Lyon and qualify for the 1999 Euro 2000 UEFA Champions League. Maribor were drawn into the same group with Dynamo Kiev, Ver Leverkusen and Lazio. To date. Maribor is one of only four clubs from the former SFR Yugoslavia who participated in UEFA Champions League group stages since the breakup of the country in 1991. Financial difficulties, the 2003 Euro 04 Slovenian Cup was the last trophy won by Maribor before the darkest era of the club began. 
between 2004 and 2008, the club was plagued by financial difficulties, and Maribor even came close to being disbanded at one point. However, the club did not follow their rivals Olympija Ljubljana and Mora on that path. Due to their large debts, which at one point amounted to €4 million, Euros, the club could not afford to buy new players. As a consequence, the first team at the time consisted mostly of youth players mixed with a couple of foreign players brought to the club on free transfers. In the autumn of 2006, the leadership of the club changed, with the debt still amounting to over €3 million, Euros, and it was not until January 2011 that the club announced that the debt had been paid in full. During this period, Maribor never finished above third place in the Slovenian league, and were runners-up in the Slovenian Cup twice. They were, however, one of the 11 winners of the 2006 UEFA Intertoto Cup, in which they defeated Spanish side Villarreal in the final round, only a couple of months after Villarreal had played in the semi-final of the UEFA Champions League. Current status From the 2007 Euro 08 season onwards, Slovenian football legend Slatko Zehovia as the sport director, and soon afterwards, Darko Milenia as the head coach, and club legend Ante Angström I'm under three quarters as the assistant coach, were appointed to head the club's sports department. On May 10, 2008, the club reopened the renovated Chudsky VRT, which had undergone a major reconstruction that lasted almost 20 months. The first match played in the newly refurbished stadium was a league match against NAFTA and was 1-3 a Euro 1 in front of 12,435 spectators. At the start of 2008 a Euro 09 season, Maribor entered history books as the first club who won 1,000 points in the Slovenian top division, after a 2 a Euro 1 away win against Ruda Bielange on July 26, 2008. Under the guidance of head coach Darko Milania, Maribor won all three domestic trophies available to them in only two seasons with the club, thus becoming the first coach with all three domestic trophies won in Slovenian football. On December 12, 2010, the club celebrated its 50th anniversary. With a 2 Euro 1 away victory over Primorje, on May 21, 2011, Maribor secured its ninth Slovenian league title. Four days later the team played the Slovenian Cup final at Stowe three-quarters ice stadium and lost to Dorma three-quarters AL for a Euro 3. At the start of the 2011 a Euro 12 season, Maribor played in the 2011 Slovenian Super Cup against Dorma three-quarters AL on July 8, 2012 and lost with a score to a Euro 1 after regulation. This was the second consecutive loss for Maribor against Dorma three-quarters AL in domestic cup finals in five weeks after losing the Slovenian Cup in May 2011. In August 2011, Maribor defeated Rangers and qualified for the group stages of the 2011 Euro 12 UEFA Europa League. They managed to get one point in six matches, holding SC Brugge to a draw at the home turf. This season, Maribor won their 10th league title with a record numbers of points. The league title was confirmed in the game against Triglav Kranj on April 22, 2012 with an 8-0 win. Furthermore, they won the Slovenian Domestic Cup on May 23, 2012 by defeating their Styrian rivals Salje after penalties, securing their seventh cup title. This was the third time that Maribor managed to win the double and the first time since the 1998-99 season. At the beginning of the 2012 Euro 13 season, Maribor played in their fourth successive Super Cup final. The match was played on July 8, 2012 at the Judsky VRT Stadium. Unlike in the previous two seasons, when the club finished as the runners-up, they managed to win it this time, beating their eternal rivals Olympija to a Euro 1. This was their second Super Cup title. They qualified to the group stages of the 2012 Euro 13 UEFA Europa League as one of the losers in the playoff round of the 2012 Euro 13 UEFA Champions League, where they were eliminated by Dinamo Zagreb. This was the second season in a row, in which Maribor qualified to the Europa League main stages. They managed to get four points this time, defeating Panathinaikos and drawing with Tottenham Hotspur, both at home. Maribor confirmed their 11th league title on May 11, 2013, when they defeated their eternal rivals Olympija Ljubljana to a Euro 1. 
they again defeated Selje in the 2013 Cup final, securing their fourth double in the history. In the 2013 Euro 14 season, Maribor qualified to the group stages of the Europa League for the third consecutive time after losing to Victoria PLZEA in the Champions League playoff stage. This time, the team progressed through the group stages for the first time after defeating Wigan Athletic to a Euro 1 in the final match. In the round of 32, they were eliminated by Sevilla with an aggregate score of 4 a Euro 3. Maribor qualified for the UEFA Champions League group stages for the second time in their history on August 26, 2014, after they eliminated Scottish club Celtic with an aggregate score of 2 a Euro 1. Social Identity Kit and colours, throughout the entire history of Maribor the club's main colour was purple. At the beginning of the club some officials were favouring the red and white colours, while the traditional colours of Brannock were black and white. Because of the fact that many football teams in SFR Yugoslavia wore red white or black white jerseys, most notably CRVNA Zvizda and Partizan, Maribor officials decided for a new and fresh combination. They decided to follow the example of Fiorentina, which at the time was one of the most successful clubs in Europe, and their purple and white combination. Otto Blatzik, the first captain in history of the club, was the one who proposed the combination after seeing the Italian side play. Eventually they changed the secondary colour to yellow. Today Maribu play their home matches in purple and away matches in yellow kits. The team is nicknamed the Purples. Another common nickname is the Violets, both referring to their primary colour purple, present on players' jerseys and in the club crest. The club is also continuously referred to as the Pride of Styria. Maribor's current kit manufacturer is Adidas. Crest. The badge of the club is one of the most recognizable sports symbols in Slovenia. It is based on the official emblem of the city of Maribor, which is turned based on a 14th century seal with minor differences. The badge is formed in a shape of a shield, and showed the former Pyramid Castle with open doors that used to stand on top of the Pyramid Hill before it was demolished at the end of the 18th century. A violet blossom forms the backdrop. Unlike the coat of arms of the city of Maribor, the current badge of the club does not represent a white dove facing downwards to the castle but an athlete. At the top of the shield the name of the club and the year of its foundation is inscribed. The entire badge uses only two colors, purple and yellow. Previous versions of the crest included the color white, a traditional third color of the club in the form of a white castle in the center and a white ball that was on top of the shield. Since May 2012, the official badge includes a yellow star above the crest, which indicates the first ten Slovenian league titles won by the club. Stadium The Judskai VRT Stadium is the only stadium in Maribor that lies on the left bank of the River Drava. The stadium is a natural, cultural architectural and sports landmark of the city and is considered one of the most beautiful stadiums in the world. The stadium is named after a public park previously located in the area. A cemetery was also located on the same area before the stadium was built. The stadium was opened in 1952 and underwent a major reconstruction in early 1960s. The club first started to compete in the Judskai VRT in 1961 when the current main stand was still under construction. The stand is notable for its 129.8 meters long and 18.4 am high concrete arch and is still the main stand of the stadium. In 1994 floodlights were installed and the stadium hosted its first evening match. Since then the stadium went through several renovations. The most notable was the one in 2008 when the stadium was completely refurbished. Presently. It has a capacity of 12,994 seats. Beside being the home ground of Maribor, the stadium also hosts matches of the Slovenia national football team and was their main venue used for the 2010 FIFA World Cup qualifying matches. It was one of two stadiums in the country which hosted the national team in UEFA Euro 2012 qualifiers. The record attendance in the Yugoslav era was 20,000 spectators while the record for a Slovenian league match is 14,000 spectators, achieved on the last match of the 1996 Euro 97 season. This match is still the record holder for attendance at a football match in Slovenian league. Supporters 
Since their inception in 1960, Maribor have developed a loyal, passionate and dedicated fan base and Maribor's fans are considered the best in the country. After Slovenia declared independence in 1991, most of the town's industry perished and over 25% of the population was unemployed. Still, the people remain loyal to the club. The club is by far the most popular football team in the country and is, in number of football supporters, second only to the Slovenia national football team. Besides the city of Maribor and the surrounding area, the club also has a large fan base in the regions of Styria and Corinthia as well as the capital city of Ljubljana. A small number of supporters are also present in Ilirska B striker in the Slovenian littoral. Soon after the foundation of Maribor, the club was branded as the Citizens Club, while their city rivals Angstrom 1 half Ilesia and Maribor has always been branded as the club of the working class. This was mainly because Maribor was seen, by the fans, as the successor of Branik Maribor, a club that folded in 1960. Many fans of Branik then started to cheer for Maribor, a club that was founded only a couple of months later. Since the establishment of the Slovenian League, 1. SNL, Maribor had the highest average attendance in almost every season to date, and, overall, had more spectators on its home matches than the second and third most viewed clubs in the league combined. The highest attendance was in the 1996 Euro 97 season, when on average 5,289 people attended Maribor's matches, which is still a record in Slovenian club football. To date, Maribor is the only team in Slovenian league that gathered over 10,000 people during their league matches, achieving that number on several occasions. The highest attendance ever on a Slovenian league match was on June 1, 1997, when Maribor played against Belton C. In addition, they are the only club that gathered over 1 million people on their matches in Slovenian league, since its foundation in 1991. In April 2013 the club began with a project based 1960, a joint project of Maribor and their fans with the goal of spreading fan awareness and loyalty towards the club and to establish violet bases throughout the country, where Maribor fans would be able to hang out. The bases are usually pubs that were already gathering points for Maribor fans in the past. With the status of the official violet base, those pubs are now able to sell tickets for Maribor's home and away matches and official fan merchandise or to organize fan zones during Maribor's matches broadcast on television. Judsky VRT is regarded as the main base, with nine others across the eastern part of Slovenia opened as of June 2014. The first violet base was opened on April 29, 2013 in Drevskidva, a small settlement couple of kilometers to the southeast of Maribor. Of the current nine bases, Eight are located in Styria and one in Corinthia. The club also has an ultras group called Beel Maribor established in 1989 which is, by numbers and organization, considered the biggest in Slovenia. An apolitical group, the core of Beel consists of around 250 members, while the whole group has around 1,000 registered members. They are located on the southern stand of the stadium which is a capacity of just over 2,000. The most Maribor fans gathered on an away match in domestic competitions was in 2001, when 3,000 fans gathered in Ljubljana, while the most fans gathered on an away match abroad was in 2014 during the club's UEFA Champions League campaign, when 1,300 fans gathered in Gelsenkirchen. Their biggest rivals are the Green Dragons of Olympija Ljubljana. Since early 2000s another fan group emerged to support Maribor at their matches. The group is called ESS and consists mostly of former members of VL Maribor, now season tickets holders. They are, as the name implies, located at the east stand of the stadium. Famous fans, famous, non-football related, supporters of NK Maribor are listed on this list alphabetically. Ivo Danu a Euro retired basketball player, member of the FIBA Hall of Fame, Jack Ofak a Euro professional biathlete, Zmago Jelina Ia a Euro politician, Frank Kangler a Euro former politician, Anna three quarters E Kopita a Euro professional ice hockey player, Promo three quarters Cosmos a Euro former Olympic and world champion in hammer throw, Jan Mura Ark a Euro professional ice hockey player, Tone Partlgen a Euro writer, author, playwright, former politician, 
Promo 3 quarters Peter K. Euro former ski jumper, two times FIS ski jumping World Cup champion, Los Peter Euro politician, Zoran Pradine. Euro musician, singer, songwriter, record producer, Peter P. R. E. V. C. A. Euro ski jumper, Sasha Vilgia Euro professional basketball player, Luca Angstrom one half via three quarters as a Euro professional handball player, rivalries, eternal derby. Maribor's biggest rivalry was with Olympija Ljubljana, against whom they contested the eternal derby. Olympija folded and was dissolved in 2004. Today, the continuation of the rivalry is considered, as the matches between Maribor and the new Olympija Ljubljana, established in 2005 as NKB Three Quarters Igrad. The rivalry traced its roots back to the early 1960s, when the first match between the two clubs was played. The two teams represented the two largest cities in Slovenia, the capital city of Ljubljana and the second largest city Mariba, and both teams always had the largest fan bases in the country. Traditionally, Ljubljana represents the richer western part of the country, while Mariba is the center of the poorer eastern part. In addition, Ljubljana was always the cultural, educational, economic and political center of the country and Olympija and its fans were considered as the representatives of the upper class. Mariba, on the other hand, was one of the most industrialized cities in Yugoslavia, and the majority of its fans were the representatives of the working class, which means that the rivalry usually had political, social, and cultural tensions as well. The old rivalry reached its peak in the final round of 2000 Euro 01 season, when one of the most celebrated matches in Slovenian league history was played, Olympija Ljubljana met Maribor at their home stadium, B3 quarters Igrad. Both teams were competing for their fifth Slovenian league title. The home team needed a win for the title, while a draw was enough for Maribor. The atmosphere was electric days before the kickoff, and the stadium with a capacity of 8,500 was completely sold out. At the end, the match ended with a draw and Maribor started to celebrate their fifth consecutive title in front of 3,000 of their fans that gathered in Ljubljana that day. An additional intensity to the rivalry is the fact that both Maribor and Olympija always had support on their matches from ultras groups, called Biel Maribor supporting Maribor, and the Green Dragons who support Olympija. The two groups are the largest in the country, and it is not uncommon that the matches between the two clubs were sometimes interrupted by violent clashes between the two groups or with the police. On many occasions, before or after the matches, the fans of the two clubs would also meet up and fight on the streets. One of the worst incidents, in April 2010 after a match, resulted in a stabbing of a member of the Green Dragons who, with a group of friends, got into a fight with members of the Violin Ljubljana's railway station. However, to date, there have not been any fatalities in the country related to football violence. Because the new Olympija is supported by most of the fans of the previous Olympija, including their ultras group, the Green Dragons, who have a long-standing rivalry with Maribor's own ultras group the Il Maribor, Many see the matches between Maribor and the new club as the continuation of the rivalry and refer to it by the same name. However, there are many fans either the ones from Maribor or the ones from Ljubljana, that do not share the same view and do not share similar beliefs, including part of the media such as RTV Slavonija and Bier. The overall statistics of the old and the new Olympija are tracked separately by the Football Association of Slovenia and the Association of One. SNL the first match between Maribor and the new Olympija took place on October 24, 2007 on a Slovenian Cup quarter-final match that was won by Maribor, 3 Euro 1. At the time Olympija was still competing under the name Olympija B3 quarters Igrad. Statistically, Maribor is the more successful club either in the case of matches only from the period from 1962 to 2005 or the whole period from 1962 to present day. Maribor is also much more successful in case of the matches against Olympija, established in 2005 as B3 quarters Igrad. Northeastern Derby. The other major rivalry of the club was that against Mura from Mirska Sabota. Similar to Olympija, Mura also folded and was dissolved in 2004, and today the continuation of the rivalry is considered as the matches between Maribor and Namura, established in 2012, who consider themselves 
together with the fans of the old Mura, as the spiritual continuation of the 2004 and 2013 dissolved clubs. The match between the two clubs was first played in 1967 in the time of SFR Yugoslavia. Although the first match was played in the late 1960s it was not until the independence of Slovenia in 1991 when most of the matches were played. Before the establishment of the 1. SNL in 1991 both clubs had never played together in the top division and the rivalry became apparent only after the independence of Slovenia, when both clubs were among the top teams of the newly established National League. Mura comes from a small, rural town of Mirska Sobota in eastern Slovenia which is the center of the poorest region in the country, Prokmaj. Prokmaj was, for about a thousand years, part of the Kingdom of Hungary, and like other Slovene lands. It therefore maintains certain specific linguistic, cultural and religious features that differentiate it from other traditional Slovenian regions. The Mura River, which runs on the border between Styria, the capital of which is Maraba, and Prikmaj was therefore not just a natural barrier, but political as well. During the 1990s and early 2000s the two clubs were the most successful and popular teams in the eastern part of the country. The rivalry reached its peak in 2003 a Euro 04 season when Mura hosted Maribu at home in the final round of the season. Before the match Maribu was leading the table and was close in winning their eighth consecutive title while the mid-table position of Mura was predetermined before the final round. However, Mura won the match to a Euro 1 and Maribu eventually finished the season on third place, losing the title by two points. Mura also has support during their matches from their ultras group, named the Black Gringos. Statistically, both teams always enjoyed one of the biggest attendances on their matches and, in terms of numbers, both teams had one of the largest fan bases in the country. The fact that Prikmaj is one of the smallest and least populated regions in Slovenia has made Mura's fans labeled, by the general public, as one of the most loyal in the country. Even while playing in the lower tier of Slovenian football, Mura 05 still had a higher average attendances than most of the first division clubs. Statistically, Maribu is the more successful club, considering either the case of matches from the period from 1967 to 2005, or the whole period from 1967 to present day. Honours, Yugoslavia, League, Yugoslav Second League. Winners, 1966 a Euro 67, runners up, 1963 a Euro 64, 1972 a Euro 73, 1978 a Euro 79. Yugoslav Third League. Winners, 1960 a Euro 61, 1975 a Euro 76, 1981 a Euro 82, 1983 a Euro 84, 1985 a Euro 86, runners up. 1987 a Euro 88. Cup, Yugoslav Cup. Semi finalists, 1967 a Euro 68. Slovenian Republic Cup. Winners, 1961, 1966, 1967, 1972 a Euro 73, 1973 a Euro 74, 1976 a Euro 77, 1978 a Euro 79. 1980 a Euro 81, 1982 a Euro 83, 1984 a Euro 85, 1985 a Euro 86, 1987 a Euro 88, 1988 a Euro 89, runners up, 1963, 1968, 1969, 1970, 1971, 1972, 1983, a Euro 84, 1986 a Euro 87. Slovenia, League, Slovenian First League. Winners, 1996 a Euro 97, 1997 a Euro 98, 1998 a Euro 99, 1999 a Euro 2000, 2000 a Euro 01, 2001 a Euro 02, 2002 a Euro 03, 2008 a Euro 09, 2010 a Euro 11, 2011 a Euro 12. 2012 a Euro 13, 2013 a Euro 14, runners up, 1991 a Euro 92, 1992 a Euro 93, 1994 a Euro 95, 2009 a Euro 10. Cup, Slovenian Cup. Winners, 
1991 a Euro 92, 1993 a Euro 94, 1996 a Euro 97, 1998 a Euro 99, 2003 a Euro 04, 2009 a Euro 10, 2011 a Euro 12, 2012 a Euro 13, runners up, 2006 a Euro 07, 2007 a Euro 08, 2010 a Euro 11, 2013 a Euro 14. Slovenian Super Cup Winners, 2009, 2012, 2013, 2014, runners up, 2010, 2011. Doubles and trebles, the double. Winners, 1996 a Euro 97, 1998 a Euro 99, 2011 a Euro 12, 2012 a Euro 13. The treble. Winners, 2012 a Euro 13. Maribas tally of 12 Slovenian championships and the total of 8 Slovenian Cup titles is the highest in Slovenian football. Maraba holds the record for most consecutive league titles, ahead of Olimpija and Gorica. They are also the only team in the country that has achieved the Slovenian Championship and the Slovenian Cup doubles on more than one occasion. In addition, they are the only club who has won the Slovenian version of the treble, having won the league. Cup and Super Cup during the 2012 Euro 13 season. On their official website, UEFA states that Maribor has won one international cup, as Maribor was one of the winners of the UEFA Intertoto Cup in 2006. However, the trophy itself was awarded to Newcastle United, the team that advanced farthest in the UEFA competitions that season. Maribor have the best top flight record in history having finished below fourth place only once. Maribor also have the highest average league finishing position for the Slovenian league, with an average league placing of 2-1. In addition, they were the first team to win 1,000 points in Slovenian top flight, achieving that with a 2 a Euro 1 away victory against Ruda Vilanj on July 26, 2008. Youth Academy, Maribor's academy is responsible for youth development at the club with the goal of developing young players for the future. The academy is hailed as the best in Slovenia and has been enjoying a fair amount of success in producing promising young players. The academy is composed of 10 youth selections, ranging from U19 to U7, with over 220 youth players in the system who are trained by professional staff within the club. The vision of the club and its youth system is not only to produce new players but also to prepare young children for the future and life without football. Therefore, each child who wants to be a member of the academy must also be successful not only on the football field but also in the field of education. During the last few years the club has also spread the football school activities to primary schools in the city of Maribor and a surrounding area, in the form of circles where as part of the children's football school around 300 of the youngest footballers train. Since the independence of Slovenia in 1991 and the establishment of Maribor's youth system in its present form, the academy has been the most successful in the country. U19 team holds the record for most titles than any other team, having won six times. The same team has also won three U19 Cups and is therefore the most triumphant team in their category. Other teams are equally successful as U17 holds the record for most titles, while the U15 team holds the record with five titles in their own category. Even younger selections of the club also play in top flight of their respective age categories and share similar success. In addition, Maribor's youth squads are the only ones in the country that were able to achieve league victories in the four highest youth levels during the course of one season. Maribor's youth selections give on average, at least 15 players per season to the Slovenia national football team's selections and players from the academy are continuously tracked by top European clubs. In 2012, a record eight Maribor players were called to the Slovenia national under-17 football team for the 2012 UEFA European under-17 football championship. Players Current squad the following list of players is current as of the date shown in the update status at the foot of the listing and player inclusion, team positions, nationalities and squad numbers depicted for the players is based solely on the first team squad information that is published and regularly maintained under the players tab of the NK Maribor official website.
For the information about reserves and youth players see Maribor B note, flags indicate national team as defined under FIFA eligibility rules. Players may hold more than one non-FIFA nationality. Information in the above player listing is current as of August 31, 2014. Retired numbers. 19 a Euro Stipe Belager, defender, number 19 is the only retired number in the history of Maribor. It was retired in honor of Stipe Belager, who was with the club for eight seasons in the late 1990s and early 2000s, during the club's most successful period. He is considered as one of the best players to ever play for the club and played, both, as a defender and midfielder. In his last couple of seasons he was also team captain. Belager earned a total of 229 official appearances for the club, scoring 37 goals in the process. He played his last match with the club on July 7, 2005, in a friendly match against his former club Hajduk Split. He started the match and was then substituted after 19 minutes of play in a symbolic gesture. Purple Warrior, the Purple Warrior, is a trophy awarded to the most distinguished player in the past year. The winner of the trophy is decided by a popular vote on the official website of the club, where everybody can participate. The voting starts at the end of the year and is usually finished in a month. To be eligible to participate in a poll, a player must appear for the club in at least 10 official matches. The voting was first introduced at the end of 2007 a Euro 08 season, with Czech defender Lubomir Kibiga selected as the first ever trophy winner. Defender Ilved Indar three quarters in Iowa was the first domestic player that won the award. Between 2007 and 2011 the voting was conducted during the summer and awarded to the best player of the past season, however, the trophy for the season 2011 a Euro 12 was not awarded. Instead, the club had decided to prolong the voting and award the trophy to the most distinguished player of the past full year. Marcos Tevez was awarded the award three times, all in successive years. Winners, Notable Managers the following managers have won at least one trophy when in charge of Maribor after the independence of Slovenia in 1991. Club officials, note, flags indicate staff members' primary nationality. They may hold more than one secondary nationalities. References External links, official website, Twitter profile, official supporters website, Vlika profile, official UEFA profile, NK Maribor on Facebook. Socks away profile.